Hi kids, today we will be adding tens and ones on a 100s chart. We can use a 100s chart to make adding tens and ones easier. Remember that rows are horizontal and the numbers go up by one. Each time we hop to the right, we add one. Here is a row, one, two, three, four, five. Columns are vertical and the numbers go up by 10. Here is a column, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We add 10 each time we hop down on the column. So let's add ones to a two-digit number. A two-digit number is a number with a number in the tens place and a number in the ones place, like in this number 24. A single-digit number is a number that only has ones, like in the number five. So if I want to add ones to a two-digit number, I start on the biggest number and hop to the right and count on to add ones. So I start at 24 and I add five. One, two, three, four, five. 29 is the sum of this math problem. Let's add ones to a two digit number again. Three plus 61. What if my problem starts with a single digit number? You can still find the biggest number. Hop to the right in the row and count on to add ones. So in this equation, 61 is the biggest number. So I'm going to start there and then add three. Hop on three. One, two, three. The sum of this equation or math problem is 64. Three plus 61 equals 64. Let's add one to a two digit number again. 19 plus 6. Well, here's my two-digit number. What if my problem adds a number that is too big and I run out of room in the row? Then hop down to the next row and keep counting by ones. Start at 19 and add 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 25 is the sum or the answer for 19 plus six. I hopped down another row to find my answer. Now let's add tens to a two digit number. To add groups of 10 to a two digit number, start with the number that you can't count by 10, then hop down the column and count by 10 or add 10. So here's my problem, 35 plus 40. I know that I can count by 10 to the number 40. These are both two digit numbers, three tens, five ones, four tens, zero ones, but I can count by 10. So I'm going to start my problem with 35. Now I'm going to hop down my column and count by 10 to 40. 10, 20, 30, whoop, 40. <laughs> 75 is the answer or the sum for this equation or math problem. I hop down 10, 20, 30, 40 to find the answer. Let's add tens on a 100 chart again. Find the number that you can't count by tens. Start there. Then add the number that you can count by tens by hopping down the columns. So in this math problem, 50 plus 12, I can't count by tens to 12, but I can count by tens to 50. So I am going to start my problem at number 12. Start at 12 and then count by 10 to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The answer or the sum is 62. So today we learned how to add tens and ones on a 100s chart. Good job, kids.